The book is, is takes place over the course of the year in 1938, basically from New Year's Eve till New Year's Eve. And uh, but the book actually opens in, in the 1960s. And the, the initial premise for the book is is, is grounded in, in this. There's a, a very uh, terrific American photographer named Walker Evans who is very famous for during the Depression, he was part of the WPA, photographing uh, the migrant workers in, in the Midwest, and his photographs are uh, very well known from that period. But he also, between 1938 and 1940, uh, rode the New York City subways with a hidden camera, taking portraits of the people who happened to be sitting across from him uh, on the subway. And having taken well over, actually hundreds of photographs, uh, he ultimately decided that he had invaded the privacy of these individuals and he didn't feel comfortable showing the photographs, so he set them aside. And in 1966, uh, the Museum of Modern Art finally showed the photographs for the first time, and the book opens at the opening of that show. And uh, a sophisticated woman from Manhattan and her husband are going through the show, and at a certain point she says, I, I knew this man. And the picture is of uh, a young man in sort of a threadbare coat, I mean, it was the Depression, and ill-shaven, but looking very young and bright and alive, and, uh, and as they continue to go through the show, uh, eventually they come to a photograph and she says to her husband, this is him again, this, this is the same man. And in this picture, he's in a cashmere coat and looks uh, well-to-do, a little heavier, a little older, a little bit more world-weary. And the husband, sort of in relief, says, well, at least he got back on his feet. And she says, no, no, actually, that's the earlier picture. If you look at the dates, the picture in the cashmere coat is the one that predates the picture where he looks more poor, but also younger and more vibrant. And that's where this, from the preface ends and the book begins, and it begins on New Year's Eve, uh, 1938, and follows the year in which uh, this individual, who she meets with her roommate by chance, uh, goes through this transition. Um, but also over the course of that year, the main character, Katie Content, who is the child of Russian immigrants, uh, she moves through New York City, uh, sort of taking steps through both the professional uh, ladder and the social ladder simultaneously in, in rapid succession. And I guess uh, when people ask me what, what I think the book is really about, it's for me really about that time of life. And that I, I think that that it, it's kind of easy to sort of say, well, in life you constantly have the opportunity to have choices which are going to change your circumstances and set you on new routes, and, but that's it's not really the way it works, I don't think. It's a bit of an overstatement. I think, in fact, there are just certain moments in your life where a lot of choices are being made without you really thinking about it, that uh, you're at a point in your life, uh, and say in your mid-twenties, where you very casually decide to live in the city for a while, or that city, you you take this job or that job, you choose a circle of friends and meet new friends and enter relationships. And at the time, it feels very casual and chance, and it is, both of those things in many ways. But suddenly what's happened is you've made a couple of choices which define the next anywhere between 10 and 50 years of your life. You, you are in that city, you are in that profession, you are with that, uh, that person, uh, and you are raising a family or not. And um, so I think it's a very interesting point in time to take a look at that moment in life where those chance encounters, um, which are exciting and fun, uh, are laying the groundwork for something which is much more profound in how it's going to influence your life. And that's really the, what the book is about, is that, that year uh, where for Katie, as she, you know, she herself observes at the end, that the a series of chance meetings in a very short period of time, a matter of months, suddenly she had a foot in a social world and another foot in a professional world that would define her life for the next 40 years.